So let me conclude on one point. If I haven't convinced you yet that NATO is still modern, vital, and actually perfect for the 21st century, perfect for a globalized country like the United States, think of this. On 9-11, I'd been ambassador to NATO for exactly 12 days. And we were all meeting the ambassadors uh, together at, in the middle of the afternoon when we heard about the, the plane flying into the first of the towers, and then we were together when we got the terrible, tragic news of the plane going into the second tower. We knew when it hit the second tower, this was not an accident. We knew it was terrorism, and we knew we were in big trouble. And later on that afternoon, I was sitting in my office at NATO, and we were cut off from Washington. I had been trying to call Condi Rice and uh, people in the State Department. But of course, you remember what happened. The State Department was evacuated. And Secretary, then National Security Rice, Advisor Rice and Vice President Cheney had to go into a secure bunker. And there was a period of time with no communications with Washington. I got a call from the Canadian ambassador to NATO, David Wright. He was the dean of our diplomatic corps at NATO at the time. He said, have you thought about whether we should invoke Article 5 of the NATO Treaty? And I said, David, if we try to invoke Article 5 and the European allies hesitate, and if we take days or weeks to debate this, we will send the worst possible message to the American people. Article 5 is the key provision in the NATO Treaty, our treaty with Europe and Canada, if one of us is attacked, we are all attacked. If one of us is attacked, we all respond together. And David said, Nick, I think the NATO alliance, the European allies will stand up and support you. And we talked to Lord Robertson, our magnificent Secretary General, and Joe Ralston, our Supreme Ally Commander. We got together and that night, we decided to go for it. I remember calling Condi Rice I think at 4 a.m. her time, the next day, September 12th, and I said, Condi, we've been meeting here at NATO the morning of the 12th. All the allies are ready to go to war with us without even knowing exactly who it was that had attacked us because we hadn't established for sure it was Al-Qaeda. And she said, go for it. I said, don't we need the president's permission? She said, go for it. And when Americans woke up on September 12th, the first thing they heard was that Canada and our European allies had said, we are with you and we're going to support you. And they were. And there was that famous editorial in Le Monde of all newspapers, Nous sommes tous Américains maintenant. We are all American now. And a couple days after that, my wife and I were in this beautiful Belgian city called Leuven, Louvain. And we were, there's a magnificent uh, town hall there. And there was a long line of people lined up to go into the town hall. We wondered what this was about. We went in. It was to sign a condolence book to the American people. These are the kind of allies we have. No other group of countries in the world responded to 9-11 the way this group did. I rest my case. NATO is vital. We need it. We need to be good leaders of it. We have a great president who can lead it and is and will and the summit should be a great success, I hope, for the Alliance in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you for listening to me. It's been a great pleasure to be here.